I'm your host, Cassie Perkins, on Behind the Mask, and I have Derek McKee with me, and we were just talking to Derek a little bit about what he does, and he's a magician. So um, we also have a chat box below, so you can ask me or Derek any questions you guys may have during any time during the show. So let's just get right back to it. So we were just talking a little bit about um, your documentary and a little bit about that, but um, so it's just basically when you say you have six people and they do they come with you to your like state or do you follow well, them or they we kind of all travel we all travel to the events um, by ourselves and then we all spend the whole time we're there mm -hmm. with each other but they do all the traveling themselves and like Hiroki the one from Japan tries to make it to everyone and Bill has made it to everyone one and I've made it to the majority of them mm. and so it's kind of availability like school for me I'm the only one still in school I'm the youngest by like four years <laughs> and so it depends on if I can get the school time off and if I can travel and get back to school on time and all mm. that stuff wow mm -hmm. so when you say they travel with you do you go to like Japan then and s no or? we go like we traveled we travel with them to the film festivals, mm. and then we went to, uh, we traveled to the film festivals, but they traveled separately to every other, all the other places. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Like, wow, that must be really crowded, but, <laughs> so, um, I understand you've performed in many shows. Can you tell me a little bit about those experiences? Yeah, well, I just did a sh couple shows, one in Fort Collins for the... Um, Society of American Magicians, they had their board, which is like 150 people. I did a presentation for them, and then I performed in Lakewood uh, the second weekend of November for the Society of American Magicians, is another charity they did. And I just got back from Aspen doing uh, talks in Basalt Middle School and Aspen Middle School about realizing your dreams and really that you can do anything you put your mind to. Wow. So you talk about bullying then, I understand? I a do bit? a little talk. I'm trying to get into the bullying talk and it's you know bullying is just such such a terrible thing mm. in our society. Oh right yes, now. it is. <laughs> and so you, it's really hard for I think bullies don't understand that they're doing it and I think we need to give awareness that you know you are doing it cuz a lot of bullies just have these offbeat comments like, you know, that dress doesn't go with that bag, stuff like that that I see a lot. And it's just, it kind of, they don't realize that it hurts so much, but it really hurts the person. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. So how are you trying to put that into your magic? Well, I try to, like, kind of do a talk if, like, it's, uh, bullying's got a lot of media attention recently. So, like, in Basal, I got asked, what are your thoughts on bullying and so I kind of give that but if not I find a way to put it in mm -hmm. to some talks I do and it it's cool because I get to hear all these different stories that the kids have oh, yeah. after like you know I'm a basketball player and I want to be the best and then but you get also those stories like you know I'm bullied all the time and I did magic and magic's kind of helping me so it's really cool to hear stuff like that mm. But it's still, I'm still pretty new to the talk, so. Yeah. How do you approach kids with that? I mean, do you just walk up to them and be like, hey, I want to talk about bullying? I mean, how do you approach kids with that? Well, I'm so lucky that they want me. I did, like, a presentation to 500 kids of mm. assault. Wow. And so I was like, this is great, because I walk in and everybody's screaming, and it was just great. And so it was hard. I did magic first, and I kind of let them know that, you know, I'm not the mean principal who's like, you can't bully or I'm going to suspend you. But I, I came in and I was like, I really related to him. I wore something very casual and I was like, I'm just like you. You guys can do it, all of this. Mm. And so it was really, it was, it was hard to talk about it because we're supposed to be having a lot of fun. But you know, it's something that needs to be talked about. How do you approach the schools with that? Do you say, hey, I'm a magician? I mean, how do you approach it? <coughs> Excuse me. Well, Make Believe has kind of decided that it'd be a good thing to go and talk to different middle schools and kind of promote the film and talk about realizing your dreams and being 
this part of being a part of your society is one of the things I try to talk about. And it really helps. It is really cool because what they really want to do is they want to do like a nationwide tour on how all of or go to a nationwide tour of different schools and kind of talk to them because I'm really, I'm 16, so I'm not that much older than middle schoolers. And I started, when I was their age, I already had a Volkswagen commercial, so I kind of like to talk about how, you know, you can do anything you put your mind to. Hmm, wow, that's really interesting. So, basically, what are your plans for the future? What do you plan to do? Well, we plan, I plan... I, I want to do this for my living, and we're trying to do more talks at middle schools, and we're going to go, we're going to try to do high schools, and then we want to, this summer, try to do a tour of my magic show, and we're going to do a lot of traveling, like I've got in July, I'm doing a weekend, or a week at the Magic Castle in Hollywood, wow. and so we're really trying to do as much travel as we can during the summer. Wow, that's really amazing. Well... Want to show us some magic? I'm sure. I just brought a couple, st a couple things with me. We have a deck of cards. It's actually the Hope for Haiti cards when the Haiti disaster happened. Mm -hmm. And That's cool. Yeah. And, um, Cassie, what I'm going to have you do is just touch one for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. This one right here. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to show the camera. We're going to show you. Okay. Watch. Now we're going to push it in. And we're going to give the cards a couple cuts, and it's not going to come on top. Give a snap. Let's see how we did. Like the three hearts. Watch. Can I have you hold out your hand? Mm -hmm. All right, just hold it just like that. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is we're going to try to find your card. It looks a little bit like this. The three. Wait, the three hearts. Flip that one over and show it to the uh, camera. Is that your card? Mm hmm Perfect. Now, watch. We're going to take the two of spades. Cast this card. Okay. And watch. We're going to push it in. We're going to take some cards here. Watch. One. Two. Three. There's the two of spades. Wow. That's amazing. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Now see, Cassie picked the two of spades, but really, she could have picked anyone. Like, let's say, for instance, if she picked the uh, ace of hearts, she could have picked that one too. <sighs> um, but if you see, she actually picked the uh, two of spades. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thank you. Now I got one, um, one or two more to show you, depending on how much we have some time. Um, we've got some rubber bands, and um, why don't you just check the, check it out? Make sure it's just there's no holes in it or anything. Check it out. Are there any holes? Nope, nothing. Well, there is one. It's in the middle, but it doesn't count. Um, now watch. Now watch. Um, we're gonna take the rubber bands, and Cassie, if I can have you just blow on it. See, they link, but this is the cool one. Here, just blow on those rubber bands. Uh. <laughs> it's going to get a little better here. Cassie, if you can go like this for me. Perfect. And extend your fingers. All right. Now be careful, because if this gets off one of your thumbs, it turns into a deadly weapon. Watch. Raise it up. One. Two. On it. Oh. Wow. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. And these are for you. Thank you. And I got one more. I get the amazing opportunity to travel all over the world. And when we were in Toronto, they had a game that looked a little bit like this. They took a shoe, an old shoelace, hmm. and they took our money. Mm -hmm. And they put, and they cut, put holes in it. Now, Cassie, if I can have you hold one end here tight and one end right here on the bottom, perfect. And so then they took this, and the, like the school kids said, 
Uh, what do you like? Do you like the quarter or the half dollar? Let me raise it up just a little bit higher. Do you like the quarter or the half dollar? Mm, half dollar. you like the half dollar? Okay, we're going to leave it on. Watch. One, two, three. <laughs> oh my gosh. And if you see this corner, and if I can have you just hold on to that one. It's not going anywhere. The quarter and the half dollar, and that's the kind of games they play in Toronto right now. Oh my gosh, that's absolutely amazing. Thank you. So what's the secret? No. <laughs> a lot of practice. <laughs> so, um, how do you practice for something like that? I mean, do you just do it again and again and again? Yeah, we do. Like I practice three hours a day. Oh my gosh! This is kind of we do. I do a lot of competitions throughout the year, and this is kind of the off season. And so I do three. I do about three hours of practice a day. And you know, if I got special events like this, I'll practice a little bit more. And I always do something special for things like this. Wow. Oh my gosh, that is absolutely amazing what you do. It's just yeah. incredible. So do you have any um, contact info or a website that everyone I can go to? I have a website, which is DerekMcKee.net, and you can also go to MakeBelieveFilm.com, and that's where you'll see all the stuff for the documentary. And the other website you can go to is RankyBrothers.com, which is the place where I learned my, mag my magic first. Wow. Cool. Thank you so much, Derek. It's so nice to have you on the no show problem. today. My thank you, thank so you so much, so much for, for having doing, me. Thank you. So, um, well, tune in next week for my show, Voices of Reality Behind the Mask with Cassie Perkins. Thank you so much for watching today.